In this video, I will teach you how to use the Fuzzy Lookup add-in in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so the use case I will use for this example are company names. As you know, there could be lots of variations in the way that company names appear in different databases or in different CRM software. And these variations are most often because of the way that the data is manually inputted into these systems, often by different people. As an example, on this tab, we have two data sets. Data set one is called company name list one, and data set two is called company name list two. And as you can observe, there are some variations and differences between the way that names appear in these two data sets. For example, in list one, we have Emory comma space LLC, but in list two, we have Emory space LLC. Or in list one, we have Max, but in list two, we have Max Inc. Now it's very obvious that these are indeed the same companies. However, the way in which they were inputted into the system are somewhat different because they were most likely inputted by different people. So one of them put the ink and the second one did not. So that explains why these variations exist. And this being the case, this would cause some issues if we want to look up the values in list one uh, within list two. So say we want to do a VLOOKUP and we want to see which one of the values in list one exist in list two. We can't do that using a simple VLOOKUP or using an index match formula because we don't have an exact match. And um, if we want to use those formulas, we first have to do lots of data cleanup and we have to normalize the data and do some ETL before we could actually use a VLOOKUP or use an index match. Fortunately, Excel has a very cool add-in that does this for us and makes life much easier for us and allows us to compare two lists without using any formulas. This add-in is called Fuzzy Lookup. Now, as you can see, I already have the Fuzzy Lookup add-in in my ribbon. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the Fuzzy Lookup uh, add-in, you're not gonna see it in your Excel, in your ribbon. So, if you haven't downloaded it yet, what you have to do is you have to head on to Google and you have to type the following. After going to Google, search for Fuzzy Lookup Add-in for Excel, and then click on this link over here. And then click on Download. So this is 100% free, and it works on all versions of Microsoft Excel. So downloading this will take a couple of minutes, and after the download is complete, you need to close your Excel and then reopen it. And upon doing so, the fuzzy lookup add-in will appear in Excel. So if you haven't downloaded this yet, uh, pause this video for a few moments, complete the download, and then uh, continue on with the video. Okay, so now that you have fuzzy lookup included in your ribbon, here's what we need to do to compare these two lists using fuzzy lookup. So first thing I have to do is to turn each data set into a list. So that's very easy. First, I have to highlight the data range, and then on my keyboard, I will click on Control L. And after doing so, this page over here appears, which uh, indicates the range, and there is a checkbox for my table has headers, which my table does. The header name is company name list one. So I'll keep this checked, and I'll do an OK. I'll do the same thing for the second data set. Again, Control L and OK. So I have two tables created. Table one is called table one. That's the first table. And the second table is called table two. And these are the default names that uh, Excel just assigned to these two tables. Now, now that the two tables have been created, I have to go to the Fuzzy Lookup tab and click on Fuzzy Lookup. And upon doing so, you can see that the fuzzy lookup add-in already identified the two tables because they were the only two tables 
in this Excel sheet. Now, if you had more tables, uh, those table names will appear here. But since these are the two tables, Excel, uh, the fuzzy lookup add-in has identified them already. And it has also identified the fields which are being compared with each other. Company name list one versus company name list two. And then I have to click on this uh, button if I haven't already, but as you can see, the left columns and right columns are already indicated. Now, if we want to include more columns, we need to indicate what those columns are. And as we go down here, we can see the output columns are table one, company name list one. From table two, we have company name list two, and it's doing a fuzzy lookup to get a similarity index. And down here, we have number of matches. Now, it's possible to match one record from list one with more than one record from list two, but we won't want to do that for this example. We will keep it simple and keep this as one. And finally, we have the similarity threshold. Now, this similarity threshold allows us to indicate uh, how good of a match we want to get. For example, if you want to get a 100% match, we can set the, the threshold at one. So this will uh, only return those matches which are 100% match. But if we want to get partial matches as well, we can reduce that number. Say we can include 85% or even lower. For the sake of this example, I will select around 50%. So I'll include this as 51%. And the last step is to click on, well, first we have to select a range, uh, a cell rather. We can do this in a different tab altogether. But for the sake of this ex exercise, I'm going to do it in the same tab. So I'll click on cell G1, for example, and then I have to click on go. This would take a uh, few moments. And as you can see, that was pretty quick. It uh, returned uh, three columns. So I'll expand these so we can see what is in each column. Okay, so these are the co three columns that the fuzzy lookup returned. The first column is the company name list one is coming from uh, the list one. And the second column is the match from list two. And the third column is the similarity index, which you can see, for example, in this case, Al Snow versus Al Snow Wellness. So the fuzzy lookup indicated that uh, there's a match between these two records and the similarity index is 95%. So for the sake of convenience, I will uh, sort this data. I'll apply a filter and I'll sort it by the similarity index so that the highest uh, similarity indexes will uh, show up on top. So I'll sort largest to smallest. So as you can see here, we have all the matches and we have the corresponding similarity indexes. So for example, Amazing Bud LLC and Amazing Bud comma LLC, Fuzzy Lookup indicated this as a 100% match. Same with these two records here. Here's our Emory LLC, which we discussed at the beginning. So it's a 100% match. So the similarity index is one or 100%. Uh, as we go down, the similarity indexes uh, decrease. So um, Cypress Management Resources versus Cypress Management Resources LLC. So this is 98% or Max and Max Inc. Uh, so that's pretty similar, 95%, and all the way down to ones that have uh, less similarity. So, for example, Now Wellness versus Al Snow Wellness. So we know that uh, the, the similarity index is much lower. So there's a uh, much uh, smaller level of similarity between these two cells. But uh, Fuzzy Lookup indicated them anyway. And you can always leave out these ones that have a smaller similarity index by indicating a higher threshold in your search over here. And of course, these are the records that didn't have a match at all. So as easy as that, we were able to, first of all, install the uh, fuzzy lookup add-in and then do a fuzzy lookup between two lists and get our similarity index. And this is a very neat tool and a very neat alternative to doing a VLOOKUP or an index match. So if you wanted to do an index match between these, these two tables, we'll receive a nothing. Or if you wanted to do a VLOOKUP, we wouldn't get any matches. Now let's just try that right now. So I'll do a VLOOKUP 
between this list and this list. And let's see if I get anything at all. So comma here and one and false. So that's a simple uh, VLOOKUP. As you can see, I didn't get anything. If I drag this all the way down, I didn't get any matches between these two lists using a VLOOKUP. And the reason are these small differences between the values as we don't have exact matches. However, using the fuzzy lookup add-in, I was able to indicate which values are matching and what the similarity index is between those matches. And this is a very neat tool that you can use to compare two lists with each other. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe and also click on the notifications button so you won't miss out on my future videos. I post one video a week and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye now.